What's up, Benditos? Let's cover the vendor reset for the week and see if we got any good buys. Let's go. All right, so here we are, White House vendor. So we got the Mozambique, perfect bread basket. Not a huge fan, not the worst gun, but uh, black market, nothing, nothing. D50, love the D50, but not that great of a version. Petrov backpack with Hasbro and Companion, nah. Stock love, no, not a good one. All right, let's go check out the countdown vendor. Let's do that one. Tabula Rosa, which is actually a really good LMG. You could have some fun with this one. It's worth trying if you don't have it, but I don't recommend really buying it. Fox's Prayer, ooh, really good Fox's Prayers, actually. God rolled. Uh, so if you're new and you don't have this, then there you have it. All you need to do is change the status effects to whatever you want. Crit chance, crit damage, hazard protection, with armor regen, headshot damage. So that would be the only one you really need of the Fox's prayers. I got a dozen versions that already have armor regen or already have headshot damage. That way I can change the core attribute to armor or skill tier or whatever if I need it. And then this China light with explosive resistance and headshot damage. It's not the worst, but there's nothing really special about it. And it's not rare. Take a look. Okay, Emmeline's Guard, which is actually really good uh, SMG. I really like this SMG. I don't use it though. Uh, perfect Preservation and the stats are kind of mediocre. Umber Initiative, Future Initiative, Chess Piece. Uh, if you don't have it, there it is. Eclipse Protocol with status effects. It's got the right, right rolls on it. P90, ACS12, uh, no. Empress, knee pads, Lightweight M4, no. Providence Gloves, no Murakami, RNK Holster, Status Effects Repair Skills, and that's it. All right, so another Fox's Prayer with Headshot Damage. I actually buy these, they're better than the ones I think I have. And so they're nice because um, the headshot's already high, and so you can change the core attribute to armor. Uh, so really cool for headshot builds, 1886 builds, pistol builds, even marksman rifle builds. Or like the SVD, for example, or the Dread Eat It. It's all good, actually I'm gonna buy that one. Bye. All right, Super 90, Sokolov, Baldi, the rest of the stuff's crap. Cool. So two really good pairs of Fox's prayers today. Okay, here we are at the campus. Let's see what we got. The Quiet Roar with Perfect Overwhelm. Uh, it's not that uh, version. Uh, SR1, Military RPK, very poor rolls. Um, no, nothing looks good over here. Okay, so moving on. Here we are at DZ West, fingers crossed. Emperor's Guard with crit chance. Beautiful. A must buy. It's great. So everybody needs Murakamis with crits on them. And Murakami, the Emperor's Guard particularly. So it gives you that 1% armor regen, very highly sought after. Very, 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 very good piece. I have it already, so I'm not gonna buy it, but yeah, you want one with crit chance, you want one with crit damage, you want one with headshot damage, you want one with maybe weapon handling for a um, a pestilence build, you want one with armor regen, you want one with repair skills. You literally want every Murakami knee pads that could, you could possibly think of because you can change the um, skill tier to armor or a red core. So it makes it very useful. Uh, I love these knee pads. I got a ton of them. So I recommend you definitely buy these. These are hot on the hot list. Buy them. The rest of the stuff we're just going to breeze through because unless it's really rare, I don't recommend you spend your DZ resources on this stuff. So um, yeah, so good. Cool. DZ West is hot. That's, that's three good buys. That makes a good week, <laughs> believe it or not. The Grudge, boo. <laughs> so that's that's it. So the rest of the stuff will breeze through. Uh, negotiators, yeah, nothing really. Yep. All right, MP7. Uh, these are all. Let's go real fast here. Ooh, that's a nice one though. Skill damage, skill haste, kinetic momentum on a Fenris. Good for a capacitor test subject. Uh, put the skill tier on that. It's nice. Not super rare, but it makes for a good build if you're looking to add a little bit of damage. Like if you want to do no crits, but just weapon damage, you know, think about just that. Like the Fox's Prayers with skill damage, Contractors with skill damage, Picara's Holster, skill damage and weapon damage in a skill tier, right? And then a Fenris. And so that could lift, that'd be a nice little lift to your capacitor. Um, and then skill tier them everything out. Skill tiers everywhere. Or, and then run two-piece Brazo and add an extra weapon damage core. And don't add any crits at all if you don't want to. Or add crits. Whatever, that's a good little uh, chess piece to give you some options. I'm not a big fan of skill haste, but you know, it's not the, not the worst thing. 
All right, and we get the M1928. I really like this gun, but strange too. Actually, I really like a strain. If you don't have, if you've never tried this, buy it. Have fun with it. Uh, very strong. SR1, Assass G, nope, Badger, nope, Sokolov, Explosive Cheska, Health. Who wants a maximum health build? Go for it. There it is. That's it. All right. Well, that's it for the vendors.